Dmitry Bivol consistently rises to the level of his competition. This is a notion that has encapsulated essentially all of his career. Compare the two Bivols that we have seen over the course of his career, essentially two different fighters. On one hand, we see an aggressive Dmitry Bivol who is willing to take the initiative in a fight and press the issue in order to convincingly win rounds, take revenge in moments he felt he was wronged, and change the course of fights. This has been demonstrated in full force in his fights against Sullivan Barrera, Jean Pascal, Joe Smith Jr., Canelo Alvarez, and Gilberto Ramirez. Let's not forget that this isn't about Bivo losing his touch or becoming rusty. Canelo's body language, right here you see him trying to load up with that punch, comes back, gets caught. Right hand over the top, spread evenly between that front and back foot, that's what gives him such good ability. As there is essentially a three year difference between the Joe Smith Jr. and Canelo fights. But what it did do was tie Bivo. Oh, this overhand right being landed by Canelo. Oh, look at Bivo. We saw essentially the same Bevel in both, throwing combinations seamlessly in touch with his defensive strategy of constant in and out footwork. We see vicious combinations, pressing for late round knockouts or stoppages at times, inside fighting as seen with Canelo. If I were looking to get Canelo beat, going into the, I would have chosen Bivol, right? And it's not gonna be stylistically the greatest fight, and Bivol's not the biggest name, it was absolutely the maximum risk, minimum reward fight. And successful inside fighting at that. Staying in control, not giving up control. Oh, and responding to taunts, as with Pascal. This is not a Joe Calzaghe type fighter that commentators sometimes compare Bevel to. There is a second Bevel at play. This is the one we have seen in performances that we don't hear discussed as often. This is the Bevel against Isaac Chalamba, Lennon Castillo, Craig Richards, Umar Salamov, and recently Lyndon Arthur. This is the one that people complain about at times, one without a killer instinct, where he's simply winning rounds and saving energy. Moreover, we hear commentators complaining about this a bit, especially before the Arthur fight. Days and commentators talked about how they haven't seen a knockout from Bevel in almost seven years. But let's remember, this is a testament to Bevel's tank, his stamina. His gas tank in these fights essentially supports the notion he can fight on for another 12 rounds. This begs the question, which Bivol will we see against Artur Bitirbiev? Bitirbiev is fighting Callum Smith this month. But let's be real, Bitirbiev is probably winning that fight. If things change, you could come back to this video and completely erase all of the next words that I'm about to say. But most likely, Bivol will fight Artur Bitirbiev. Artur Bitirbiev will be the biggest challenge of Bivol's career up to this point. We can say that Canelo has definitely been a great challenge to any fighter, but the size difference between him and Bivol, although not making Bivol's win any less impressive, is nothing compared to the power difference between Bivol and Bitirbiev. There is definitely danger in fighting Bitirbiev, but Bivol is up for the challenge and he is not running. I took the fight, uh, I, uh, I know, I believe, I don't know, I believe I can win. As some sources have said. Which Bivol will we see against Bitirbiev? The one that will cruise to win rounds and safe decisions? Or the one that will have to risk it and throw combinations at times and have to throw first? This is undoubtedly going to be a more aggressive Bivol. One that will throw more punches. You may say that Alexander Gvozdik tried a very similar strategy against Artur Bitirbiev. He was throwing first a lot of times. He wasn't trying to be a counter puncher. He wasn't trying to set traps for Bitirbi if he was just trying to press the issue. Gvozdik is in fight a lot. Gvozdik likes to fight. Ah, yes, if of takom razmeni u Bitirbi u bolsha. And you cannot fight Bitirbi if if you're fighting Bitirbi, you have you almost have no chance. This is a mistake often made against Artur Bitirbi, as when fighters try to be too aggressive without the proper footwork and defensive systems at play, Artur Bitirbi simply catches them counter punches well and just presses them by the end of the rounds by the 10th 11th round and completely destroys the fighter Vojdik wound up in the hospital for two days after last friday night's fight maybe had he fought more effectively in that 10th round and extended the fight he would have suffered a fate far worse than a two-day hospital stay then again you can say that a counter punching strategy against artur bitirbiev such as the one that 
uh, Marcus Brown used. You can say that that doesn't work as well. Arturo Pitirbidev's ability to cut off the ring simply makes him an incredibly hard fighter to effectively counter punch against for 12 rounds. He was very, you know, like cold minded. Mm. He never, he never <laughs> rushed things. He did exactly what he was supposed to do and he showed that he's not just explosive power guy, but he was very cold minded and relaxed in the Therefore, Bivol knows what he has to do against Peter Biv. And this is going to be, at times, pressing the issue, at times, counter punching. Using his spectacular jab and his spectacular ability to move in and out with his feet and being able to get out of difficult situations fairly quickly. Exactly. See, he's blocking everybody's look. He's been under like fucking. Was Bivol just too big? Great intent. He does have to do this stuff. Not staying on the ropes and in fact catching Artur whenever he leaves himself open. Artur has a very good defense. We need to say that as well. So this is going to be a bit of a boxing match at points as well. Bitterbeev versus Bivol will not be a brawl that Bitterbeev is looking to make. But And, and better be if just won a terrific fight against right. Anthony Yard. Are we ever going to get Bivol and better BF? This will be a fight that essentially Artur Bitterbeev will try to press the issue against Bivol Bivol will counter punch and he will. Viterbiev's got that punch and skill, you know, that, that accuracy, but Bivol, you know, he's an all around, you know, fighter, so I'd, li I'd like to see it. Respond effectively at times, and it will be a simple battle of wills. It will be a battle of who has the better stamina, who will be more prepared, and ultimately, a Dimitri Bivol that fought against Canelo can honestly win a decision against Viterbiev. This is a very good possibility. His chin has been tested, as shown with Joe Smith Jr. But then again, Mitrbi have walked through Joe Smith Jr. when they fought. So therefore, it's going to be a risk. But every fight is a risk. In boxing, every punch has a chance. So therefore, this is my analysis of Bivol versus Mitrbi, as well as the two different Bivols that we may see. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe for more content and turn on the notifications bell. Thank you for watching. Against the odds, signing out. Peace.